Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Good. Okay. So I see that you were sent a package, two packages of the Geneva neoprene right. gasket. Right. Uh, what is, gasket. Okay. The, I have two very heavy shower you know, glass shower doors, and then they've got um, like these. These, this plate, these plates on either side of it, which is Geneva hinge, if you're familiar with that. And, and I'm familiar, I know that it's Geneva because it says right on the inside of it, this is Geneva hinge. Whatever. And this thing fits in terms of the size, but this, the, what I just got in the mail, these, these things that I ordered are these kind of thin little rubber, little rubber things. And what was what was in there before was appeared to be some heavy plastic uh, thing that actually held the glass off of the metal um, posts. That and, and that that's, that became brittle. It's kind of you know it, it was like a potato chip. It was so brittle. Um, and so I, these neoprene are not when I when I. I, I took one out of the package and I put it up, put it up, up against where the, it's supposed to be. And the problem is, is that if this thing doesn't hold the shower door, the, the piece of glass away from the, those posts, then the thing goes too far forward, and then the shower door actually hits the the the, the opening of, of the the casing the casement. Of the shower, so there's got to be something I'm missing here. Because I mean, it may still need these little rubber gaskets, but the, but there's something that I'm missing in terms of the, the plastic thing that goes in the thing that holds the thing that actually makes the thing um, um, that. Okay, if, if you look at there was a picture that they had here, the, the cut sheet I think on the website. You see the hole there with the the um, I, I don't know if you can see that or not where the template is. Yes, sir. I can see it. Okay. Uh, what's happening right now is that that bolt is where the you, where the tip is, the point on the top where the you know have, you have the circle and the point. It's the bolt is instead of being anywhere close to the center of that plus. It's actually banged up against the uh, point there, uh, you know, just about to, you know, uh, it's not going to fall out unless I pulled it to the side. But I'm pretty sure that those that the the place where this thing is supposed to be sitting is supposed to be actually mounted in that in that um, location where where the cutout is, not kind of pulled back all the way to the back. I, I think there should be something more substantial, something uh, that's a harder plastic that's more that's that's thicker there, and that the, the thing that became brittle is the, the thing I just received is this. It's a little bitty. I don't I don't know if you've seen it before, but it's a it's very a very thin kind of a neoprene uh, thin. It's not it, it's not something that's that's um, is there another piece that I that I, I should have ordered instead. So that's basically what I'm asking. Is there another Part that I should have ordered for this Geneva hinge, or there are two different types of gaskets for the Geneva. There is the black neoprene that you've got, and there are two different thicknesses there to account for different glass thicknesses. Made right. of neoprene, closed cell neoprene, uh, like a car tire. There's also then the less higher performance clear plastic version of the gasket for the Geneva hinge, which will be in essence the same. It will be plastic, so it won't be as rubbery or as pliable or as long-lasting, and does not feature a fin. Where's the, where's the, which is the fin? The, I'm looking at the picture of it. Actually, I have the thing in front of me. Is the fin the thing in the back? The thing that goes it's the around? thing that's, it, it's the thing that's not flat when you lay the gasket on your desktop in front of you. It goes around it, you know, the kind of the ridge that stands up. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's to uh, insulate any contact with the edge of the glass. 
Huh. That's it. Just some basic, something that's basically the same as this. Because when these are, when I put this in place, when I attempted to put this in, in place, when I, I just put it up there, the maybe maybe that's what it's supposed to do. I I I, I don't think. Um, yeah, because if if it's just basically the same thickness, it's not thicker, it's not a bigger piece, then it's not going to hold it any more than than this rubber will. I don't think. I mean, it's just a longer lasting one. Is that that you're telling me the neoprene one will last longer? But the I am saying that. Yes, sir. They're, they're, they're the same thing. Yeah, sometimes people will want clear because they don't want to see any black underneath their hinge, um, and that's typical. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the the part that I that was there before that you know it, you, there are little shards of it that are still still there. Um, yep. th th those are, um, like I said, it's, it's a it's like a hard black plastic. Hmm. Black is – I've never seen a black plastic. It, the only plastic I've seen is clear. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe it's the, maybe the neoprene turned solid hard or something. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, generally what I find is that imagine a car tire that's been on a car for 25 years and it dry rots. It will start to look like that. It will crack and craze. Um, C R A I Z E, I think, is the way to spell the proper term of craze. Um, that's what it'll look like long term. And yeah, of course, they'll both fatigue with time, no doubt. Oh, oh, oh it says this gasket is indeed for Geneva hinges. There's a question down below that says uh, there are two thick and two thin gaskets in the package. And it says. Uh, do I combine the thick and the thin gasket for each hinge, or should the thick pair be inserted into the top and, and thin into the bottom? And the person is saying it's for different glass thicknesses. thicknesses. And so you are supposed to put either two thick ones or two thin ones. Is that correct? One, one package of gaskets is only for one hinge. If your glass is point... Um, well, I don't know the what's the range of a Geneva three eighths and half inch. Let's take a look. I don't remember. Oh, here it is. So the Geneva is going to account for glass between five sixteenths and half inch. If your glass is on the thicker end, yeah, use the thin one. Use the thin gasket. If your glass is on the thinner end, use the thicker gasket. But you don't stack them. I suppose you could if you wanted to get your scissors out and cut them. But I don't see the benefit in doing that. Okay. Okay. But, but it's not that, there, that I just ordered the wrong one and there should be a different pack. Well, I'm uh, not sure that you didn't order the wrong one, but it sure sounds like you have everything you need based on having Geneva hinges. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think certainly in trying to repair this, I'm, I need to. It, it's very, it's kind of nerve-wracking it, having it hanging in place because you know, I have a big piece of glass. And last thing it's I want an unsafe to, condition, and well, that's why. Have it torque and then have the thing crack, you know, then, then I've got to order a, a very expensive shower door, right? So it's the, um, the mouse ear preparation in the glass of the hinge, yeah. um, that will keep, that ought to, if it was done correctly, and I'm sure it was, that will keep the glass from physically falling out and making a real big-time problem. But you're right. Metal on glass, metal's going to win. Yeah, I mean, I could wind up with, you know, a crack, and all you need is one crack, one-inch crack. When you put it in the glass. You're done. And yep. I'm done. I've got to get another shower door. So. Yep. I think I might, I think I might take a blanket or something like that and tuck it underneath the base of the shower, the like since it's got a bottom hinge still attached, uh, tuck put, tuck a big blanket or you you mean when you're doing the the, the, the gasket? Out of it. Oh, yeah. it, this is a two person job. Oh, this yeah. is oh for sure. I mean to do it safely, it is sure. Yeah. If you're going to try to do it alone, then you're going to need to shim. You're going to need to brace. You're going to need to right. ensure that nothing falls. Take all the stress off of it because the last thing you want is stress pushing on the glass while it's while indeed it's any. 
any sort of um, taking it out of its own natural plane is where the problem would be. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, and trying to put the gasket in, pulling the glass forward and having the mm -mm. bottom holding it flat nope. while the top is being torqued back. I could again bust the glass, so it's very yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, it's really a two-person job. Okay, um, well, I, I still because I, I mean I, I I had the thing last night and I did not see how it was, how it was going to work, but I'll try to I'll take a look at it again. If if it's if it's not that I've ordered the wrong part, then I'm going to take a look look at it again, see whether it. Maybe when I put the screws in, it will hold it in place, but it doesn't really look. It, it looks like the the thing is still going to be pushed forward where the the edge of the shower door is rubbing up against the wall of the casing of the thing. So, okay, well, I'll, I'll take it I'll take it from there and see, uh, try it again and see if there's something that I'm missing there. How, how thick is your glass? Um, I can I can take a quick gander in it. And while you do that, I've had a Geneva hinge with black neoprene gaskets installed on the current shower for probably two years. And if the gaskets are too thin, if you've installed the wrong ones, or if the glass is too thin for the Geneva hinge, it will creep out over time. It will slowly slip out. And indeed, when I install, when I had the shower door enclosure, people install it because I didn't do it myself because, you know, my wife can't help me hold a, a, you know, an 85-pound piece of glass. Yeah. Um, they put in the thin gaskets, so over the over a period of weeks, it was creeping out, and I tightened the screw and then realized, ah, the gasket's too thin. So I called them up and says, you, uh, you says, you, I says to them, you happen to. I'm happy to be a client who sells this material. I just didn't do the job myself. So you've got to come back and put the thick gaskets in. And when yeah. they swapped them out, it was problem solved. It's okay, not moved. The, it's not moved the, in, in the 20 months. Is, the glass is, I'm holding a, a kind of a fine ruler up to it. And the glass from the thickness of it is three eighths of an inch thick. Yeah. I'd, I'd use the thicker ones. I mean, like I said, it's a bit. Yeah, see, the, it, it just, I don't remember the thickness of those gaskets, but it might be fifty thousands. I, I don't recall. So just one of these is meant for one hinge. I ordered two of them. I've got two showers. That means I need to probably order two more if, if I can get this to work. I'll order two more packages. Or package unless you're not do two. Well, the showers are the same. These doors. Oh, okay. I was going to so say if you got lucky and the other glass was half inch thick, then <laughs> you're use the thin ones. It's amazing that through. Three eighths inch by six foot by you know, two and a half foot piece of glass is really heavy. <laughs> epically heavy. I happen to have a lot of experience with glass. Glass is um, epically heavy. So, okay. Well, I will. I will attempt to put this one on again. Maybe the bottom one would be easier than the. T no, I probably not. The top one's probably easier because you just got to shim bottom, it so it doesn't. At least I got to shim it underneath the bottom to take the strain off of it. Is what I. Yeah. Okay, well, I appreciate your help, and and I will try to uh, see if this, because I, I was I was thinking that the package was, you know, that I was supposed to put a thin one on one side and a thick one on the other one. So I guess I'll just try to put two thick ones on, see if that solves the, the problem. Okay, well that's it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.